anything? Well, these new mowers by New Holland aren't exactly that quiet, but they're just about the smoothest mowers you ever put to work in your fields. They cut so evenly, swiftly, and silently. Farmers who use them say they forget there's a mower behind them. What kind of a mower do you like? A fully mounted one? Good, here's yours, the Model 45. It hooks up quickly to tractors having three-point hookup or two-point fast hitch. You don't need one single tool, and a built-in jack stand lets you park or hook up without blocking. How about a trail-type mower? Take this one. The Model 46 fits any tractor, hitches and unhitches in a jiffy, with a simple one-point trailer hitch. Or how about a semi-mounted mower? It's New Holland's Model 44. Universal hitch on this mower permits hitching to most popular make tractors with only one set of attaching irons. But no matter which mower you pick, each has a great many new features, like this safety breakaway mechanism, so you don't have to get down from your tractor to relatch. There's hydraulic equipment as standard equipment, and a dozen other features you would want if you were building a mower just for yourself. Every hour you save in getting hay into storage is worth many dollars in the higher feed value of good green hay. That's why New Holland spent years developing this mower crusher to meet your demand for a machine to cut down field drying time. In one swift trip around the field, you mow and crush, handling the crop just right for fastest drying time, getting it safely inside even in damp weather and without worrying about having a long stretch of dry sunny days. Extra big 12-inch rollers avoid wrapping and give you greater ground speed and handle the crop gently. Rolls on this crusher are smooth to make sure the stems are cracked from butt to bloom, not just crimped here and there across the stem. This crusher is built to handle even heavy crops like soybeans, and you can use crusher or mower separately. The new crusher can also be added to a New Holland Model 40 series mower at any time. And all controls are right from the tractor seat. You are really in full charge of this newest contribution to better haymaking. The mower crusher has powerful partners. Tucking that precious hay into fluffy windrows is the kind of work the roller bar rake purrs over. A new Holland baler swoops up the crop and packages it safely in neat, firm, square bales. A new Holland wagon in four or five ton models carries a hefty crop of green hay back to the barn. And there you find a desert right in your barnyard, the New Holland Crop Dryer. Who cares about the weather and haying time when your hay can come home to this? In hours, your hay is brought to safe moisture content, and your winter feed is put up faster, safer, cheaper, and easier than ever before. And this crop dryer doubles up to handle all your drying problems. Corn and grains give up their moisture fast when a New Holland blows its hot, dry breath over them. And that's the way you want it, right? The baler you're now looking at is the newest development in haymaking since New Holland brought out the first automatic baler in 1940. This is not an experimental model. This is not a test scene. This is a motion picture made at normal speed of a production model baler operating under average conditions. This is New Holland's masterful new Hayliner 68 doing a normal day's work. But a normal day's work for a Hayliner 68 is far bigger than what you expect. Far more in speed, in ease of handling, of gentleness in handling, of pure bailing pleasure. All of New Holland's know-how and experience went into the creation of this new kind of baler. And now you're seeing a new baling principle, flow action feed, designed exclusively for the Hayliner. 
Tines move just the right amount of hay easily and smoothly into the baling chamber, so you get just the right kind of slices that good bales are made of. Here's a baling system so accurate and so gentle, you'd think it was done by hand. Now watch this New Holland Knotter in slow motion. A good example of how feature after feature is based on farmers' demands for the best possible equipment. Up front, twine supply, right where you want it. Filled with the kind of strong, even New Holland twine that lets you take full advantage of the Hayliner's big baling capacity. And features like metermatic bale control. But best of all is the New Holland baling action. Bale after bale after bale, ton after ton after ton. And that's what you've got to try for yourself to really appreciate. So now the Hayliner 68 takes its place among the family of New Holland balers serving more farmers than any other kind. It's a proud brother of New Holland's great Super 77, the engine and power takeoff twine tie baler for the farmer who wants bigger bales and top capacity. The mighty Model 87 engine and power takeoff baler, king of the automatic wire ties with its own specially engineered New Holland baling wire. And the 166, the first self-propelled baler for the average farm. With all of these, the new Hayliner 68 moves proudly, waiting for the day you come along and take it home to go to work in your fields. Because, like every New Holland product this year and every year, the Hayliner 68 is built as a haymaking tool to fit the hands of you, the man who knows best how to use it.